Hey guys, what is going on? So the Giants actually made a move in free agency. I wasn't expecting them to make a move day one of free agency because, you know, they have like no money to spend. They have like negative cap, but they are signing an offensive guard. So yay for offensive line help. Let's go. They are signing offensive guard Mike Glowinski. He played on the Colts last season. He was drafted by Seattle in the fourth round. He's 29 years old. So this is the contract. It's a three-year, $20 million contract with $11.4 million guaranteed. So where did that money come from for the Giants? I literally have no idea. Like, I don't understand how the cap can work like this. Now I feel like Bradbury definitely has to be traded because I don't I don't understand how the, how the Giants just, like, had had all that money but it's definitely a good sign because we know the Giants desperately need O-line help last season Glowinski I believe he played right guard for the Colts he might play left guard for uh the Giants because that Giants O-line is so bad but he's definitely an upgrade over any of the interior offensive linemen that played last year for the Giants besides maybe Nick Gates but I don't know Nick Gates only played one full game like we understood what happened with the Nick Gates really unfortunate situation there but for the majority of the season, he's an upgrade over any of those interior O-linemen. Last season, according to PFF, he only allowed two sacks and he only had two penalties on 843 offensive snaps played. So that's that's pretty impressive. We love a guy who isn't going to commit holding penalties and push the team back 10 yards and two sacks allowed. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. That's pretty good. I like how they're bringing in a veteran. Yes, he's a little older. He's 29 years old. He'll actually be 30 years old when the season starts next year because his birthday's in May. But I like how they're bringing in a veteran because drafting offensive linemen, it's never a guarantee that they're going to be stars, even if they're drafted in the first round. Remember what happened with Eric Flowers? I mean, he's actually having a solid career now, but he was just not performing well with the Giants and... Um, he was a top 10 pick, I believe. I believe he was selected 10th overall, maybe 11th overall. Don't quote me on that. But he was a high draft pick offensive lineman who didn't work out. Because what happens if Neil and Akanwu are both drafted by the time the Giants draft at number five? Do they go for Charles Cross? What do they do there? I like how you're bringing in a veteran. So you're just not solely relying on the draft to fix this O-line because you can't just solely, you can't just solely rely on the draft to fix this O-line. I like that they're bringing in a veteran, someone that is proven. And if this, if this is where the Giants free agency money is going to go, it should go to O-line. Like if they have any little bit, uh, any little amount of money to spend in free agency, it should go to the O-line. So I'm happy that they didn't make an O-line addition very very important that that this old line is better than last season so yeah guys happy with this move where did this money come from like i i don't know how the giants are doing this with the cap but um listen i'm not complaining it's a solid move uh hopefully it works out i, I think it will work out uh knock on wood but yeah any 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 old line upgrade is a positive for me so that is it for this video guys if you want to hit that like button it really does help with the channel peace out